All right, guys, welcome to game number four. Should be finishing loading up here in a minute if both players' computers don't decide to be the slowest things on the planet. And uh, <laughs> it looks like my stream has finally decided to start working again, possibly. It's possible. It may be working. Possible. But uh, we are loading into this game, and in the top left, or I'm sorry, the bottom left-hand corner, playing for Team Zerg Gosu Team, we have Terran. Who's actually playing Terran? I thought he was playing Zerg. Okay, but I guess he's playing Terran. Uh, in the bottom left here on Red City. And the top right-hand corner playing for Team Extraterrestrials. It's Pedro Blanco in the top uh, the top right over here. Also playing as Terran. So TVT. I haven't seen one of these in a little while, actually, in the UASL. And his current score is 1-2. So... It's always uh, nice to see the games not being a shutout because that is never fun. No one likes it when the entire series is a shutout because that really sucks. But it looks like my stream is working, so I'll fiddle with that after this game. But it's good that it actually wasn't dropping frames. But I'm going to cancel that out now. Uh, so we'll probably tune back over there after this one. But uh, nothing really crazy going down, of course, at the beginning of this game. Um, so let's see. Okay, yeah. There's the first racks. Okay. Both players didn't opt to go for Reapers or anything. They didn't pick up gas. So both playing kind of unstandard at this point. Especially because this map actually has like a bunch of good jump up areas. I'm kind of surprised they didn't go Reaper. It's a pretty big map. So I can see that, that aspect of not going Reaper first. But uh, okay. Pedro Blanco is picking up his refinery at least. He's going to be, he can probably build a marine and then go into reapers. Let's see. It kind of depends on how fast he pulls SCVs. There's one, two. Uh, I think he'll probably just play it delayed and then start the reaper. It'll be just barely. Uh, still no gas being picked up for Terran down here, though. He's scouting around with an SCV. He's going to start his orbital. A Marine started up there from Bruno. Pedro. Blanco. Hispanic names. Generic. Pedro. Bruno. Alright, so we have a Marine walking out on this tiny little peninsula that guards <laughs> that guards the entryway into his base. The lone Marine standing strong. Become majestic. And look at that. Start shooting an SCV. Good positioning by that Marine. He's very proud of himself. And actually, that SCV does get picked off as the second Marine pops out. That's actually really good. A lot of uh, scouting denied there. And it doesn't look like he's going to be going into Reapers at all. Just going to go straight into Factory, uh, which is uh, cruising along there for him. In the meantime, Terran decided to go Expansion first. Still hasn't picked up a gas. Starting a second Rax, he's going to have to bunker up, play a little defensively. And we'll have to see if it's going to be... Banshees, I mean, they're cross position. It's going to take a Banshee forever to get there. Same with drops. But it uh, definitely looks like tech is the choice for Pedro. We'll see. Okay, looks like he's just going to go Hellbats or Hellions. Yeah, Hellions. Just now starting his expansion, which means he's like the full 100 seconds behind it takes to build that. Pretty much. There it goes, land in the reactor, and the first two Hellions starting up right now. Kind of an interesting build here by Pedro Blanco. Okay, Starport, Tech Lab. Still isn't really giving away if he's going Bio or Mech. Probably Bio, though. You'd probably see another factory start up before the starport, but it really depends on if he wants to get really aggressive with drops. Take advantage of those Hellions. Not really sure. Would definitely bio out of Terran, of course. He hasn't even started a factory. Starting his first tech lab, so we'll start to sim up probably right when that finishes. It's actually 24 workers to 24 workers, which doesn't really make that much sense because the expansion of Terran has been rolling for so long, comparatively. That's weird. Did he cut at some point? Or it's just his income's been much lower because he's been double refinery 
for a little while. I'm not sure. But we do have the engineering bay coming up now for Terran and Stim. All of his tech's starting to go down behind this. Now he's starting to pull ahead a little bit in his SCV count. First siege tank starting up there for Pedro. And a little hit squad of Hellions heading across the field over here. And Medvac trying to boost over there. So looks like he's going to try and poke a little bit at the natural, and then he's just going to back up and get lifted into the main probably. See how much damage he can do. And all that's out on the field really right now is Marines. So I mean, if they get pulled out of position, which they're voluntarily walking themselves out of position right now, he could actually deal a decent amount of damage. Um, but it doesn't look like he's decided to, and that Medvac actually got called back there temporarily. So that's not good. They delayed that a decent amount. And now the Marines are back and they're in a pretty decent position actually to defend. Trying to drop up here. Pedro's just inside the vision, but hasn't attacked anything yet, so there hasn't been like the warning. And there it goes, working on the first few SCVs. Three of them going down very fast there. Punching up a little bit. Two more going down. Five so far. Six, seven. And looks like he's probably going to have to just get on out of here. But decent exchange there for our, our Terran player who's not named Terran. <laughs> Very confusing. Sorry about that. All right, here we go. We have uh, Bio. Looks like it's going to be for Pedro Blanco as well. Uh, I wonder if he was kind of waiting to see what was going to be going on uh, down there and see what his opponent was going or if he was going to be going Bio the entire time. It was very delayed tech, actually. And we have a Viking and a Raven, despite not seeing really very much indication of a Banshee. Looks like he's just going to get a Raven anyway. Be very safe. I feel like it's kind of like a chunk along ladder build here for Pedro. Looks like he's very comfortable with it. His macro has been very good this entire time. Like I said, he was actually tied on worker count despite building his base way later. So, I mean, he definitely has the timings down that he wants as far as buildings, upgrades, things like that. And uh, speaking of upgrades, double engineering bay going down behind this. So. All right, we have a tech lab and a reactor going down on these Raxes. His stim is going to be so late into the game. And it looks like he's going to position a siege tank and a few Marines in a very defensive position there at his main. And I'm starting to feel like Pedro Blanco is a turtle uh, because he has not done anything but build siege tanks, Marines, and camp near his lines besides that one little drop play. Uh, that being said, Terran has been a little bit afraid to move out. And he has built turrets in very good positions. He actually almost lost that medvac. That was very, very close. Uh, but he did scare that off. Meanwhile, a drop is coming for Terran. His stim is done. Not done. Done. It's done. And he's going to boost in and see if he can't get some damage to try and even up all those workers he lost earlier. But there is a big old siege tank. And he's going to have to scoot up to the top part of this. And he's definitely going to lose his medvac to that viking. Oh, come on, viking. Don't make me a liar. Thank you. Does blow that up. Another drop coming down over here at the natural. But uh, again, Siege Shank's pretty good. Very good positioning here by Pedro. And whoa, almost losing that medvac. That was a risky flight maneuver heading that way. And Terran's army is dramatically smaller right now than Pedro Blanco's. And he's moving across the map, which means he's going to lose Defender's advantage. So I'm not really sure what he's hoping to accomplish out here in the middle. He may just want to make sure that he can see stuff coming, but Red City's a pretty big map. There's a lot of ways to get around. So, I don't know. It's a pretty scary situation, actually, for Terran right now. I feel like he may be a little bit aggressive when... A little bit over-aggressive, but we'll have to see. Looks like he might want to elevate her up into the natural. I'm sorry, into the main here in a second. I'm not sh exactly sure. He only has one siege tank with this army, though. All right, he's going to go ahead and back up. And uh, his bio is now 1-0. It has stim. It has combat shields. In the meantime, there's no combat shield. Stim is just about to finish for Pedro Blanco, but he has quite a few more siege tanks. Four more, four siege tanks. I think that makes him up by two. Yeah, up by two out on the field right now. So he's in a very strong position to move up and start sieging, actually. We have the armory going down there for Pedro since his 1-1 one -one is done. He's actually ahead on straight-up upgrades since he did go double engineering bay, as we saw. We do have a drop 
that is uh, cleaned up there by Pedro Blanco. And the worker count is now getting a little bit more even on losses. Um, Taryn has lost still just a few more, and that's reflected in their actual overall count as well. Siege tanks and marines kind of starting to move into for positions. All right. It does a scan, decides not to move up any further, sieges, blows up one poor marine who was sent forward, and uh, the drop over here at the main actually did a decent amount of damage right there as he was positioning. A lot of SUVs getting taken out. It looks like about 12 were actually picked off in that drop, so very nicely done there. Definitely getting ahead on the worker count through that, but he has to play very, very defensive otherwise because that was, it actually represented a medium amount of his army, and it looks like he's going to load up a big drop and send that across the map. As a scary situation. Therefore, our Blue Terran player, who's blown up some rocks, seems like he felt like that'd be a good idea. Um, not really sure why. I guess so he doesn't have to blow it up later if the third's there and then, you know, that type of thing. But the third's actually going over to the other set of rocks, so it's a shame on him. He's going to try and move in towards the natural using this back path he created, though. Uh, but that three medvac drop really looks like it wants to move in and deal damage, and it, it very well might. Three medvacs worth of marines is a lot of marines. And he's going to go straight... Oh, I thought he was going to go into the main, but it looks like he's going to try and rip apart this mineral line that has 17 SCVs on it right now, and it looks like there's no defense for them. They're going to start sprinting away, but quite a few of them going down. It looks like his command center is going to go down to two, and the worker kill count is now moving up to 30 here for Terran, and he actually has a superior force of marines back over here, so he's just going to drive it back. But now there's siege tanks up on the high ground, so unless he do drops directly onto them, which he is going to do, uh, he's in a pretty rough position. That's three siege tanks. Marines from the low ground not moving up, though. And now these medvacs kind of chilling, getting picked off a little bit. Lots of Marines in these, and they're not really doing that much. They're just kind of idly wandering around. And there wasn't really that much to distract him back down here in the south. I'm not really sure what happened with the control on that. But a uh, very, very costly loss. I mean, there was a poke kind of towards his third. But uh, his siege tanks were in a pretty good position. So now very far ahead, up actually 13 on the worker count. Terran starting to make a pretty good comeback in this game. But the army is still very heavily in Pedro's favor. So we'll have to see. It's a lot of siege tanks and marines heading across the field right now. A lot of siege tanks and marines. And he's going to try and hit aligning straight up with this 2-2 timing. So this is going to be a pretty powerful attack. And he actually sees that everything's unseized. He tries to sprint up into position here, just starts sieging his tanks. And uh, Terran hasn't sieged up at all. Front siege tank being picked up. Back siege tank starting to go down. Terran gets his siege up, holding a pretty good line here. But it looks like the upgrades may starting to be overwhelming him. And Pedro Blanco looks like he's going to be able to take out this third. Uh, getting pretty aggressive, though. Looks like he's going to try and sprint forward and maybe just go for a killing blow here. All right, takes out the last remaining siege tank for right now. He's left his own siege tanks pretty far behind and hasn't siege moved them forward. And Pedro Blanco just storming through that third base with a superior army count just takes that game. It was really good harass out of Terran. Definitely took out the third base, did some good harass on the main. But uh, it becomes that point where you lost a little bit too much with harassing. And then it's just open to a big counterattack. And Pedro really took advantage of that. So now we're going to be moving into... Game number five. Yes, game number five. And XT is now up three to one. So they only need one more to close it out. We'll have to see who ZGT throws out there to try and stop them. Coming up in just a minute. 